Abductions are becoming more and more common, but one family in Lodi says the theft of a tree from their front yard was especially painful. As Fox 40's Doug Johnson shows us, they hope sharing the significance of that tree will help somehow bring it back. A quick glance at this home on Hutchinson Street in Lodi, and the Christmas decorations won't stand out. We have lights all set up. But Jackie Senecal explains this is the first time her parents' house has been decorated in more than two years. This year we decided to celebrate, and so we got a tree. The first tree she and her family put up since her son, 19-year-old Jared Senecal, passed away. It's hard to accept that he's not with us. Nicknamed Spanky, Jared loved to ride motorcycles. But sadly, in April of 2015, he lost his life in an accident riding one. The details still difficult for his mother to hear. I'm not quite sure exactly what happened yet. This year, she and her parents finally felt it was the right time to decorate again, since it was one of Spanky's favorite holidays, and they know he would have wanted them to. It was finally time for me to quit grieving. But that tree in the front, which was decked out in the colors of Spanky's favorite team, the 49ers. It was lit up really nice. Was uprooted and stolen in the middle of the night, along with a memorial sign identical to this one. I just didn't know what to think. I was just like shocked. Jackie placed Spanky's urn on a table in the front window, hoping his friends would come and add to the tree memorial she had set up. So that his friends can start instead of going to the site where he got killed at, because every time we go there, they remove the stuff that's there, not even with a matter of hours, it's gone. But now, with this latest theft, she questions if she and her family will ever decorate again. I can't barely look at his pictures, and I was trying to, and this just makes it even harder. And that was Doug Johnson reporting. While the family hopes the original tree will be returned, they say they're not holding their breath. They plan to plant another one and to install surveillance cameras. A vacation in Mexico and...